Washington took the first set at Oregon, but the sixth-ranked Ducks come back to win it in four over their rivals from the north. Rich Burke along with Nicole Rigoni and Anna Pukas, the setter for Oregon. What a night she had all the way around. You took the words right out of my mouth from the service line to her attacking in the front row, in the back row. I mean, she was an essential part of this match becoming a W for University of Oregon. Yep, and at the end of that second set, she served four aces in the span of six points to close it out for the Ducks. Kara McGee. A player she was able to get hot was her middle blocker, Kara McGee. Kara McGee is known for her blocking, so of course she was doing that, but her attack tonight was unstoppable. Ten foot liners all the way around and drilling the ball. A six foot five transfer from Baylor. And then there's Gabby Gonzalez, the 6'3 outside hitter transfer from Ohio State. She reads the game so well and such a tricky hitter. Not only does she have off-speed shots, but she can throw power at you and put the ball anywhere. Her range is impeccable. Uh, Gonzalez in. Uh, what we're not seeing there is the excellent passing from Gabby Gonzalez. Matt Omer says one of the best passing outsides in the country, and it'd be hard to disagree with that. Adipukas, along with those numbers, had 47 assists in four sets, so just under 12 per set. And Karen McGee with that 471 hitting percentage, and Gabby Gonzalez, great all-around match. And again, excellent passing by Gonzalez as well. The Ducks struggled early on with first contact, but later on, they were much better, and they beat the Huskies 3-1. to one. Washington will be at Oregon State in a match on Pac-12 Oregon on Sunday at noon. Meanwhile, the Ducks will host Washington State Pac-12 Insider Sunday at noon. That'll be a match between the number six and number seven teams in the country, Oregon and Washington State. The Ducks win it in four over the Washington Huskies.